Hello everyone, this is NoranRad89 here, bringing you a Dark Dimension 2 video. We're going to be trying to finish Node 10 today. I actually recorded this last night after we did our fireworks and everything, so it's going to be a voiceover today because of all the fireworks going off in the neighborhood. It was pretty loud last night. So mainly for this node, it was just trying to figure out how to whittle down the rest of the members and target the Deadpools and get like the correct move order down. That way I could actually kill the Deadpools off. So right here I wanted to go for Hulk first because I wanted to try to get him out of there because he's the tank. So I wanted him gone. That way I could freely work down all the other people. And then when it came down to trying to work down the Deadpools, I just targeted, I tried to target the one with the least amount of turn meter out of the three so I could possibly slow him down and then get the key stun with shield security on his second, on his special. So I was trying to do that because then if I could stun the Deadpool, then I can add debuffs, hit him more while he has defense down and he's stunned and everything and then try to take him out. But it was mainly, like I said, just getting the move order right and all that kind of stuff. Because it was, it was difficult, but it was more like annoying than difficult, to be honest. <laughs> Get that turn meter. Finally got the AOE, which drops Hulk, I think. Yep. And now we have three Deadpools and two Daredevils. One Daredevil. <laughs> it's gone. So this, at this point, I think, is when I switched over to trying to take out one of the Deadpools. I was like, I want to get at least one of these guys gone. Because Deadpool has this nasty ability, so once he takes his turn, all the debuffs, the more debuffs he has, the more he cleanses and he heals himself back up. So the point was, was just to try to get that key stun. That way I could possibly... Just get him whittled down and add the debuffs and everything. So, because we knew he was going to cleanse anyway. So, I kind of just went after this one, had defense down. So, we were going to hit him. And we got the turn meter going. And I think I got the stun on this Deadpool, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, he resisted. So, that's the sad thing, too, is like if they get the resist. That's what kind of slowed me down, too. It was like when they resist that stun, it, it messes up the whole combo that I was trying to do. All right, some AoE action. The Daredevil's getting really low, but I kind of just left him there alone. Plus, he had the counter, so he was just coming at people anyway. I didn't want to target him. And then we ult into him with the defense down. It took a couple tries, and then, like, I think at the end, too, I saved one Deadpool for the very end to work on him, because by that time at the end, I kind of had the strategy down, and it was more just hoping he didn't resist the stuns. Like, see, he cleansed there, and he healed back up. So it was unfortunate. It'd be awesome if we had another stun on the team. Like, that would have been more beneficial. Like, if... Kind of like how Mantis has a stun on basic. It would have been awesome. So now we're down to just the three Deadpools. And then started working through them. Trying to find and discover the right combo. Like I said, of just getting the stuns... Landing the debuffs, hitting them with the good ultimate moves and everything like that. And I think this, I think we got the stun this time, yep. So thank God, see that, that's what you want. Because then he uses his turn and it goes all the way down and the debuffs stay. Because he doesn't take his turn, it's him taking his turn that cleanses him. Now he ults with Minerva. Dangerously low over there on that Deadpool. He's about to go down right into the ground. As we say, happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> Get some of that turn meter rolling and basically try to start the new thing. 
And these are the last five enemies right here. So everybody on the field are the last people that you end up going against, or that I saved for last. Alright, some AoE action from the Falcon. I think I did the debuffs on this one. Nope, actually I just went for the single target, yeah. I wasn't trying to add debuffs at that time because I didn't want more cleansing. I didn't want him to heal up even more. Because this one, we're trying to whittle him down, but that Groot was causing problems too with his heal and everything. But overall, it went pretty well. The second run like went kind of a lot better than I thought it was going to. And I thought I was going to end up having to do it again or retry it based on the RNG. But we got it. There we go, some turn meter. And Falcon is key. Like, he's definitely a great character. Like, I suggest, like, if... Even if you're not going for power armor, once you get Falcon, he's great for the blaster challenge. And he is flexible on other teams because of that turn meter gain works. And it's just so well. And he wasn't... He really wasn't that hard to get to gear 13 either. He was one of the easier ones for me to gear up. Punisher and Falcon I did first, I believe, to gear 13. It was really simple for both of them. Minerva and Captain Marvel took a lot longer. And like I said, I just I really did feel happy about how this last bit of the node kind of turned out. And the, right there, we're getting this Deadpool dangerously low. We just want to try to kill him before he takes his turn, because then... All that hard work he did is pretty much gone. <laughs> so now, if I remember correctly, I went through Groot. I think I did Groot next, and I saved that Deadpool for last. So we went through Groot, the Daredevils, and then Deadpool. Remove his little death proof. Get the debuffs. Now, this time I wasn't worried about doing all the debuffs and doing all that stuff because I wasn't targeting... Deadpool at this time, so I didn't really care about him healing back up. It wasn't it wasn't important to me at this time. But that I was a misclick because I should have flipped the debuffs and I forgot to do that. <laughs> I went basic on that scientist supreme move and I should have did the special. I'm gonna get the stun on Groot. Now we're gonna flip the debuffs. Get some of that Minerva ultimate action going on. Alright, there we go. Boom. Yep, so hopefully we'll be tackling the other node later today. I'll be filming that and then post it tomorrow. So hopefully that next one goes well. We are really close to getting to the end where we're going to be getting our Ultron unlock. And then we have to do it all over again to get him to 7 star. So... Alright, now, come on. That Groot's getting there. He's getting there. He's, he's a very tanky character at this level. Groot, for sure. And I really do hope these videos are helping you people out and helping you guys find out how to tackle some of these nodes and maybe what characters to choose to take to gear 13 as well. Like, this isn't the must team. This isn't the best team that you should take in, you know. But it is an option, and hopefully these videos are helping out, showing you guys how to use this team, and maybe you guys will end up doing better than I did on my run. But so far, I'm pretty happy. We've only had, I think, two nodes that we had to take multiple tries on. Alright, time to get these daredevils out of here. Yeah, daredevils were pretty simple. The only thing I hated was like the countering and stuff like that it kept going off. That was kind of annoying. And look at that, like shield security. He's definitely a boss. Like look at all those debuffs and like taunting and everything and he's still surviving. Like he's he's a monster. All 
Alright, let's get some damage in on Deadpool. Minerva Ultimate. Boom, boom. Alright, this Daredevil is going to be out of here pretty soon. And then, like, as for cooldowns, I really didn't keep track and, like, care about the cooldowns at this time because I knew I was going to have to get a certain pattern down to get this Deadpool out of here or else we were just going to be stuck here for days and days. <laughs> so we mainly went kind of basic out for a while, flipped those debuffs. And then we got the key stun right there. But I think, if I remember correctly, he actually came out of it and he healed on this one. And then we had to start the whole rotation over again. And that's what's kind of a little better, too, is we get a lot of turns before he gets his turn because it's just the one character, but... Yep, there he goes, and he healed. See, but I think if I remember, we missed the, we missed the slow on that one, so I knew we had to basically go around and basic out, is what I did until we came back around to Shield Security's turn. I wanted to make sure he had the slow on him, and then he was going to be able to stun the next time we came to the security. All right, some more basics. Boom, get the special on him that time. Healed up again, see what I mean? So we had to reapply the slow, restart again. <laughs> it was basically just going and fishing for the right RNG and the right combo. <laughs> but it's getting dangerously close. We got it this time, I think, because we got the slow on him. He's got the defense down, some bleeds and everything else. So now we just needed to get that key stun. Boom, right there. He's already in the yellow. Then we start blasting him with some offense up abilities. All right. I did ult into him because I wanted to get him gone. <laughs> so that's why I said our cooldowns are going to be a little wonky for this next round. But we got him out of there. It was a successful day. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner. And if you want to continue watching the DD2 series... Stay up and keep those notifications on. Catch you all later.